What is going on everyone, welcome back, and I'm here, I've got a new haircut kicking, hope it's not ruined anywhere, but anyway, how's it going? I'm playing Pen Pendumbra, something like that, and here we go, let's start my story again. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him, but he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Of course. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course. I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. What? There's something. Oh, it's these. Here we are. Penumbra. I think. This is the first one that they ever made. Great. Make sure there's a crouch. Okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Always good to. No. Oops. Oh, I see. Hey, okay. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Move chair. Right. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set and sail before me once again. I have to say a little something to remember me by in the chest for the bed. I don't know why I started the board, it's there, it's there. I'll play every night for you to take care of you need to do the safety answer. Please don't go over the bed. I hear the overalls. So, 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 before I forget, Trout and we're saying. Mostly a season that the red ship captain deserves special treatment once in a while. Makes sense. Fisherman's love for some. <gasps> Check that news. Hey! What's this? What's in here? Oh, padlock. Oh, there's a key somewhere. It's my key. Philosophy. I knew that would have been in there. Tap. F. There's a key there. Key cover. Oh, I did. Every. 
Purple Sticks. I keep forgetting I'm actually playing a horror right now. It's an old game, but why not? Maybe I'll show you it. And under here. There's my key. Oh, that's quite scary. It's a bit loud, so you know. I'm not gonna be here for long so I've got think got places to go and that and but I was too pumped to play it. Right. I jotted down on the one, okay. Wait, how do I get my What? Steven! Oh, I mean that. I keep. It's because I've got two monitors and that one keeps taking the mouse. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm so scared. Wait, I've oh got something I can stop. Who's there? Is with the E the music? <sighs> Wait. Frozen soul must break ice. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, oh, oh, fuck was that? We have idea, Steven. Oh, oh! 